Hello everyone and welcome back to another Mail Reviews! Hey, yes, in today's edition, I'm picking the items. Scary. Not scary, <laughs> because there's a theme. Much like what Big Finish are doing, they've got now like a thing where they title a thing, where it's like Doctor Who and Old Friends. And yeah. 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 This one is limited editions. Way. I don't know, looking at some limited, whether you can see whether it's worth being limited edition because everything seems to be limited edition now. You wanted a limited edition record store, Taylor Swift vinyl. Taylor, Taylor. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, so it seems like a common thing where every merchandise slaps on limited edition, everyone goes crazy for it, and then secondary market is crazy. So, um, I've picked three limited edition items, what are classed as limited edition, and I'm going to see whether you think they're worthy of being limited edition. Yeah. So, the first item I have picked, again very topical for the recent news, is this. Tenant. It is Doctor the... Who, the Tenth Doctor Adventures Volume 3. Do you want to show the camera? Right. Yes, I do want to show. So this is it that he has given me. This is like a little box set. It's, a, it's free big finished stories. You've got a nice limited edition sticker on that. He back. has number 1548 out of 5000. Do you want to get out of the box? Yeah, let's go for it. Cute. So, this is probably one of my favourite big finished limited edition ones I've done um, because you've got lovely bits of artwork within there. Oh, um, this is cool. So, you've got like your CDs done in like a book. It's all very cool. Three very good stories, in my opinion. Um, I'm a bit of a sucker for the tenant stuff, so you can have a flick through there, you get some <gasps> nice bits this of artwork. Is cool. Yeah, yeah. Look at that artwork, guys. Got good a good old Bernard Cribbins, good old Wolf. He's the one who's coming back, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so you've got a nice little spread of. Tenant and Donna. Yeah, yeah, it's very exciting. It's stunning. And then you've got also like storyboards for the stories. Um, so that's like your cast list and production for what features on there. You're probably going to review mode now. This was like, <laughs> this was like QVC Sally Telly, but yeah. yeah. If you open it up, there's even more surprise fun stuff in here. Uh, if I can just get it, you get lovely bits Ooh. of storyboard for some of the creatures, cool. what feature within um, there as well. So it's, it's all cool. Nice little costume design, storyboards for some of the stories. I like that. So yeah, that is 10th oh. Doctor Volume 3. Behind the scenes moment. Behind the scenes stuff. So do you think that this is worth? being a limited edition. Yes. How much is it going for now? This is still in stock on Big Finish. Yeah. So you can still buy this. Yeah. I think it's about 35, 40 quid. Well, that's not bad. So you're getting three stories, so that's 10 quid. You're getting a few bits of extra, so I think. That's worthy. really worth your money. Worth your money. So definitely get the thumbs up. Yes, guys. Go on the Big Finish website now and buy this. It is definitely worth your money. If you are a big fan of the show, you will absolutely love this. What would you give it out of 10? 10, because it's 10. Sweet. <laughs> next item. The next item, this is of course a big thing with us Doctor Who collectors, is the Doctor Who collection. We love them because it's a nice archive. You love everything. That is very true, but the Doctor Who collection is one of the things what brings me much joy when they are released Does because it, it comes in this lovely packaging. And that is stunning. You can open it up and have a look. I mean, Can't we buy? That's, this is my favourite collection cover art. You can give them a little look in if well, you want. I'm having a look first. Look at this guy. You might have to watch the disc tray because it, it's... I, I'm holding it down. Quality control's a bit naff on this one. Guys. I am, it's perfect. Can I open that? Yeah, you can open it. Nice little booklet. Fantastic. And then if you fold it out. You've got the booklet there telling you what's on each disc. Look at this, guys. They probably know already. This is fun experience for you to get your reaction to a collection box set. Yeah. Back in business. Back in Welcome to season eight. Yeah, it's good. It's a good box set. He looks good there, Arjun. He does, Arjun. Nice bits of artwork to accompany the stories. Yeah. You can see it a lot on each disc. It tells you the production, the after it. Like, it's every fan's read. She covers everything. Yeah. I might have picked it because you know it's Perry and it's a good collection box set. I knew he was going to pick something Perry related, guys. Got to stay on brand with it all, really. I mean, obviously, yeah. Do you want to give him a little Oh, this is cool. Look at this one. Colony in space. I like that. You like that? I mean, yeah. I think the next art was probably my favourite one. Are you ready? 
That is really sick. Damon's. That's a very good story. I like that. I mean, you saw a little bit of it because we were watching it before we went out. And it's good. Yeah. Good. That's your little booklet. That's really sweet. I really like that. Let's pop that back in where she belongs. Make sure to not get it wrong because no, otherwise no. he will kill me. Yeah. So you got a nice bit more artwork there. It's all good. Yeah, it's really nice. This. And then. That's your, the disc trays. Um, yeah. No, I'm okay. no, 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 no. I can, I can just show how bad this is for mine. Well done. <laughs> I mean, it makes life easy getting the disc out. Yeah, but... exactly. That's what they wanted for you. Yeah, but uh, that's that's one negative about that one. But you know what? The artwork, top tier. I rate it. Yeah, I really like this. Can the people get this still, or is it no. just like bids only now? This one's high on the secondary market. How much? 60, 60, 60 quid. 60 quid? Yeah. That's not bad. It's not too bad. I, I mean, it might, say in the I mean, it might be on 100 now, I don't know. But it, I mean, it, I thought you were going to say about 200 or something. I mean, the next. That's not bad, guys. The next item is wearing skyrockets. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I sell it. You're not, I mean, no, 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 you're not going to sell that. So, what would you give John box set? I mean, I feel like if I don't give John a 10, you'd be really mad at me. However, I'm just going to knock half a pint purely because of the discs, because they fell out and I thought I broke it and I thought he was going to kill me. So, it's getting the 9.5 nice out of spine, Nice chunky spine. It is, it is a nice chunky spine. I like the back. It. Yeah, the back is really cool. It's like hardest. That. Good. I like it. I like it. So overall, nine and a half out of ten. I would recommend bidding on eBay for it because Or wait for the re release of it. Oh, is it getting re released? Well we're just doing like a standard Blu-ray case, which I am not a fan of. You don't want that guys, bid for this one, honestly. Chunk it's chunky. Alright, alright, all right. okay. Next item then. Yes. I thought I'd pick a steelbook. Because a steelbook seemed to be like a big hit trend. I've fallen down that rabbit hole. You're falling um, down every rabbit hole. Yeah, practically, but I still have some self control. And I thought I'd pick this one because of who's on it. My faves! Rose and Eccleston. My favourite people. My favourite series. So, what do you think Fantastic. of the artwork for it? Incredible. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's good Fantastic. artwork. Fantastic. Yeah, see what you did there. See what you did there. So, the still books. I love them. I think they're a great way of collecting Doctor Who physical media, um, and the fact that that's a series in one slim case, it's great. I love it so much. I'm... He looks welcome. Look at Eccleston. He's like, do you want to come with me? Sorry. Come on, guys. Do you want to open it up and have a flip through? Yes, I will. Because I'm sad. I put them in little protectors. I don't. Me. I don't want to damage that bad boy. To be fair, it is like it is like like steel. You don't want to get it scratched or anything. We can slip it out. Do you want me to do it because I'm getting no. anxiety you do it? There you go. Hey, see? I'm a pro. So we've got this fallout, guys. This lovely bit of artwork going on. It tells you what on, is on each look disc. Look how good they look. So, on disc You one, don't want to give them a rundown on each disc. I'm just going to tell you this one, guys. you got Rose, End of World, Unquiet Dead, Aliens of London, and World War Three. Which is a favourite of those bunch? I like them all. Probably just like Rose. Because that was like the first yeah, yeah. one I ever watched, my first ever video that we did. And that holds a special place in my heart, so yeah. Oh, we've got some special features. Yeah. We got some on set with Billy Piper. I thought you were only doing disc one. I know, but then I noticed the special features, and I'm yeah, yeah. an absolute sucker for behind the Doc, scenes. Doctor Who's good for that. Designing Doctor Who. Ah, oh, fantastic. We're going to check this on later, guys. So on the back, have we checked the back artwork? Yes. Bad Wolf. Bad Wolf. And the Daleks. That's really cool. You can open really her up like and have a look. There you go. <gasps> oh my god, Rose is on the disc. And so of course she's on the disc. Well, yeah, but like you just expect the disc to be like a disc, don't you? Like yeah. just a bit plain, Jane. No, they're not plain. <gasps> you got him. Slavine. Slavine? From the Sarah Jane Adventure, so it's wrong, so it gets not a mark there. I'll have to knock down half a pint again, aren't I, guys? Yeah, so yeah. still work. Why does Eccleston look so weird on that? He looks edited. No, it's well, it is edited, isn't it? Yeah, but he so looks like, like a background. no, he looks like his actual face. 
No, that's not edited. They put that's him through airbrush. No, that's from like an actual production photo of him. So, yeah, that's it. They definitely airbrush. No, I didn't airbrush him. Very nice. So, this is a um, pricey item now. How much? I want to say it's like in like the 300s. Like this, I feel like that and the series. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> this and like the series nine steel book, mega expense. Yeah. So I always feel like a bit of a flex, but. <laughs> but yeah. Oh my god! Hey guys, look what I have. Yeah, but it's a. I, it's one of my favourite steel books. It's my first ever series, so I, I think I love it. I feel like it's a good thing to flex, to be honest. It's a good thing to flex, and it's probably some of the best artwork. Some I love of the it. best episodes too. That's true. Am I right? Or am oh, I right? the taste is showing. So yeah, what would you give the series one steelbook? I mean, I know you said about the incorrect artwork on the Slovene, and we did touch on the airbrush Eccleston. However, it's not airbrush, though. however, don't make that face. Continue your review, please. However, I think I'd still give it a ten because Rose and Eccleston holds such a massive place in my heart. My first Doctor and Companion that I watched, and he'll always hold a big space in my heart. So. And, he's a, and he's a Manchester man. Exactly, representing the North. Not Jodie then, Jodie's not representing you North. Where's Jodie from? Uddersfield. Is she? Oh, she is, isn't she? Yeah, because there's well, a, like... that meme on like Twitter and like Americans are trying to translate it, and it's like Uddersfield. <laughs> I didn't good. see that meme, I'm uh, sorry. Sad. But yeah, I mean, Jodie's kind of representing enough, but she's just. Well, she's not mank like. Yeah. Well, Eccleston's like the definition of northern. He's a hard man. Yeah. He's, he's like, a sulfur. Rose, you got to burn. He's a, sul a sulfur boy. He's, all he's right. a sulfur boy. And like, we stand that. We really do. So. Right. Should we close the video off before you go into no, your little Eccleston tangent? I love him. I really yeah. do. I'll leave it with your still book um, <laughs> and I'll close off the video. Uh, so yeah, thank you everyone for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, um, please let us know your favourite limited edition items you have in your collection or any items you want to get what are limited. Be very interested to know what some of your favourite pieces are in your collection. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time for whatever that'll be. Maybe a cooking video and some really yeah. exciting stuff. So yes, thank you everyone and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye. You could have just slid the still book out. But instead, you had to make life awkward, and I have to put the J card back in. Like, but that's the bit you've got to be careful about because the J card can look tan. You're recording. Sure, you're, ex life. you're exposing the sadness in me. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Um. Thank you. Um. But yeah. Very nice. Um. So yeah, I feel exposed now. And that is how you put your steel book. Back in the protector. Tutorial guys, full video on that coming soon, don't you worry? Yes, because I'm very sad and I like to keep stuff very pristine in my collection because I like to hold the value because I'm very sad like that. I didn't say it. Yes, so we'll see you next time. Goodbye. See you next time. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye.